my name is Sandra Lubisco, and I'm going to talk to you today about my English 3 British Literature course. Before I begin talking about the course and uh, the many things we will be doing this year, I'll give you some uh, background information about me. So this is my 13th year at Dunellen High School. I've been teaching um, English for the last nine years. Before I started teaching the English courses, I was teaching the understanding writing courses at the high school. Um, so I know that every ninth grader takes the understanding writing course before um, coming up into English three. Uh, we do do a lot of writing this year as well. And with the that background is uh, important as we grow as uh, readers and writers this year. So yes, this is my 13th year at Dunellen High School. I graduated from Rutgers University. I was um, an English major and also a secondary education major. I have two children of my own. Um, I also teach along with British literature. I also take, teach AP language and composition. So a little bit about that English three. Uh, so it is also known as British literature. We study the many writings and contributions of British writers. It is a junior level literature and composition course. We will be moving through the, the readings chronologically this year. We begin the year in the dark ages. Uh, so we start the year with Beowulf, which is a representation of the Anglo-Saxon period and some of the earliest writings of um, in the English language. So I really start um, back in the beginning of it all. Uh, we will move into the Middle Ages uh, with um, um, texts of chivalry and um, Chaucer um, are the texts we read in the Middle Ages. And then we move into the modern era uh, as the course progresses. We do do Shakespeare this year. Uh, we will move into uh, modern texts um, later in the year as well. But throughout the year, I incorporate a lot of other texts that um, are similar in theme or um, content in some way to the text that we're reading to really show the connection between um, these older texts and texts of today. So these texts, whether they're um, more of the uh, earlier texts or the modern texts, we use them as examples that will also serve as models of effective writing as it is a literature and composition course. Um, so yes, we are uh, moving through the year chronologically. We're trying to get an understanding of the societal, cultural factors that really motivated the writers of each literary period. And then by establishing that connection between what was going on in that time period, um, what the, uh, the writers were expressing really makes helps us make a connection between why these texts were so important in their time period and what meaning they can bring to our day today. Uh, we will be looking at close reading skills. Uh, we do a lot of annotation this year. We're, we're close reading. We're looking at uh, how to really dig deeper into texts. We will do a lot of freak, a lot of writing. Uh, we talk, um, we do a lot of essays on um, the text we read, but also we do narrative pieces. We do some creative pieces. Uh, we will write our own um, hero's journey. So we try to follow the archetypes that we're reading in class. So I do give students a lot of uh, places to also be creative in, in the classroom. And really what we're looking to do is develop our ability with working with language and text with that greater awareness of purpose and style and um, using those techniques ourselves to grow as, as writers ourselves, better communicators. All right, so some of the texts we're gonna cover this year in the British literature textbook, um, the, the texts I have, um, we'll be uploading them on Google Classroom. So there will be a PDF copy of all our British lit texts right on Google Classroom. We already started the year with Beowulf. The PDF copy is online uh, from the textbook. So it is a, um, an easier way for students to be able to digitally access the, the text. We will be working with annotation tools to be able to annotate those texts on um, virtually. So uh, the text will be uploaded to Google Classroom as we work through the year. Some of the texts um, will um, be through other resources, but I'll always have links to them through Google Classroom. So it's really through Google Classroom that students will be able to access all of our texts, all of our assignments. Uh, so we move into Canterbury Tales in the, um, after Beowulf, and then we move into Shakespeare every year. Uh, we do do a Shakespeare play this year. We'll be doing Othello. 
I like to do different plays, um, but Othello has been a fan favorite. I'll bring Othello back. Um, students tend to enjoy that play. Then we'll move into Frankenstein after the first half of the year. Um, and then we'll be getting to some dystopian novels, Brave New World, 1984, really looking at um, sort of the future um, now. Um, and if technology, um, the dangers of, you know, putting too much on technology. And we'll talk a lot about our virtual world and we'll definitely have a lot to talk about when we get into that unit. We'll, we, we'll move to the remains of the day as the final novel that we do this year. So much more modern of text. Throughout the year, there's a lot of selections in nonfiction, a lot of selections, as I said, that correlate to the themes and ideas we're discussing in our, our anchor text. So we do do a lot of different readings this year. Um, it is um, a course that really delves into uh, many different types of writing and poetry as well. All right, so for this year, we will be having our classes on Google Meet, um, some guidelines and expectations for that. Students are expected to attend class every day on Google Meet. We only have a 30 minute class period. It's very important that students get there on time. I have a lot to cover. Um, we have a little shortened period um, and, and we're doing everything virtually. So that in of itself poses its own challenges. So it is important that students be on time for class and really to put their best effort online as, as they would in person. Uh, attendance will be recorded daily and it's important that students are there as they would be in the classroom. So students must have their cameras on for class. Uh, we are looking to create a, an environment of uh, collaboration and interaction. So having the students having their cameras on, being able to communicate with each other, communicate with me, me being able to see them really brings us into uh, a classroom feel where we are um, interacting uh, as learners together. So that is something that we set out at the beginning of the year and students have been um, very much adhering to that. So it's been good to see. Any technical issues um, ever happening and if a Google Meet goes down or a student can't access our Google Meet or something's happening with their Wi-Fi, it is important for students to communicate that to me immediately so um, we can try to fix the issue as quickly as possible. Um, also to um, communicate with the attendance office so that the attendance office knows we don't want students to um, get these absences because of technical issues. So it is important that if ever that is happening to really communicate that to us quickly and early so that we can try to fix the problem so students don't fall behind in class. All right, so as I said before, Google Classroom is really going to be um, the main page for us. Students will be able to access all of our assignments on there, submit all assignments to Google Classroom, which really made it uh, to streamline that everything will be through there. Students know to check the Google Classroom page often and pay attention to the due dates. And if a student is ever absent, it's always important to check that Google Classroom page for the assignments of the day as well in order not to fall behind. Um, you know, we do do, we do progress in our readings um, and I wouldn't want to see anybody fall behind because of having any technical issues or just um, being absent from class. So it is important for students to communicate um, any absence issues with me early. Okay, so that's our Google Classroom. Um, my contact info, um, that's email you. Please feel free to email me with any questions or concerns throughout the year. My email is pineros at danellanschools.org. It's also important for students to email me when they have any questions or concerns and set up um, times for extra help. So if a student is needing that extra help, if your son or daughter needs that extra help, please uh, encourage them to email me, to seek me out for that extra help. I can meet with them before school, through Google Meets, during their lunch periods, after school, especially when we get deeper into um, the, the course. It, it is important that students know that they should seek me out for any extra help. So please encourage them if they ever um, are having any difficulty with class um, that they do come for that extra help. Again, my email is paneros at danellanschools.org. Please feel free to email me with any questions or concerns throughout the year. Thank you very much.